Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here. And what exactly is up with this warp place? I mean, here we're in space, There, but down there we were in ground. Are we like at the cortex vortex right now? Or what's with the geography of this place with like outdoor areas being between rooms sometimes? Like Ripper Roo's room, like... And were we on this place while it was under construction? Or like, what is this place? I don't get it. Anyways, we're moving on to Pack Attack, which... I'm not really into sports, but I am from Wisconsin, so I do approve of the Packers reference. So... <laughs> Anyways, another jetpack level. Anyways, let's go under these things while they're in. That seems like the best way to handle it. Bugs me how sometimes you can't hear the sound effects. Like seriously, I didn't hear I didn't really hear the breaking sound for a lot of those crates. Checkpoint, I love how you just obliterate the the checkpoint crate. It's not a little plus on the ground, you just obliterate it. Oh, we're flying through rains now, huh? What is this, Superman 64? This game is way better than Superman 64. Although Superman 64 is awesome in its own bad way. It's like, it's awesome because it's bad. Like, for some reason, it's just fun playing bad games. But of course, most, if not all, of the games that I'm going to show you are going to be games that are actually fun. <laughs> Yeah, Wild Shiny Kirby actually has Superman 64, but we don't have a working Nintendo 64 memory card. Because, you know, Superman 64 is one of those rare 64 games that actually uses the memory card. We have a Nintendo 64 memory card, but it doesn't work. So that kind of sucks. But oh well. And this should be it for the jetpack level. Man, there's a lot of nitro in that stage. Anyways, there's two gems in the next stage, but I'm going to have to purposely miss at least one of them. Because I want to get the normal ending before I get the secret ending. Of course, the normal ending is for getting all the crystals and going to the final boss, whereas the secret ending is for getting all the gems. So, spaced out. Final level. <laughs> and it's another one of these. Ow! I'm pretty sure to get the secret gem in here, it's not that you don't have to die, I'm pretty sure you have to have the purple gem. I think that's what it is. Or you might have to have them all, actually all of the colored ones. Yeah. That actually seems a lot more epic, so... So yeah, I'm gonna take the secret path. 
um, on the next playthrough. I'm pretty sure this is one of those levels with like two actual exits where the secret path, rather than connecting with the normal path, just, um, you know, goes to an ending. Tricky. There we go. That works. Um, I see a lot of tricky jumps coming. I mean, it is the last. Le Did I see something up there? Oh well. I guess I can check it now. Wow, I've seriously made no progress in this level in the same amount of time it took me to completely beat the previous level. That's ridiculous. But fine, because all we really need to do in this video is beat this level. I'm not expecting to get the boss and the ending in this video. I don't want to get it in this video actually because I want to save between uh, between this level and the boss. Okay, it's just a life. I thought that's what it was, but I wasn't sure. No, I probably could have pounded to get that or something. Uh, tricky timing. Like with getting Master Hand on Melee. Which, by the way, um, gosh darn it. If you don't know all the stuff you can do with Master Hand on Melee and how to control them and stuff. Seriously? Okay, you should definitely check out my Melee bonus videos, because honestly, I think they would have got a lot more views if they were labeled How to Play as Master Hand. But, you know, they're my Melee bonus videos, so they're just Super Smash Bros. Melee bonus 1 and bonus 2. Yeah, they're pretty good. So if you, if you don't know about all the stuff you can do with it, check it out. Because, you know, I, I found things on the internet for how to play as him, but I found a, a better way that lets you play as him that's harder to pull off, but allows you to do more stuff. So yeah, it's pretty good. Check it out. Bonus. Trying to push me into that nitro. I'm not falling for that. Not falling for that either. Yeah, just get up here while you can. And they put that TNT in like the worst spot. I knew that was dangerous because I accidentally hit the bottom one first. You want to hit the top one first for safety's sake. But it still worked out for me, <laughs> thankfully. No, oh, this, this looks tricky. Yeah, I guess I was supposed to land on it and jump out quickly. There we go. 
go. That doesn't look very good. There we go. They make you do really tricky stuff in this level, but again, it's the last level, so it's to be expected. Uh, yeah, not, not stepping on that, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, got the crystal and the gem. We're leaving the secret gem for later, because we don't want to get the secret ending yet. So, yeah, a bit of a short video, but we should be able to finish up the whole game. Including the boss, the normal ending the other gem and the secret ending all in the next video I'm hoping so oh boy cutscene <laughs> Yeah, the video kind of cut up a little during the cutscene, but basically, yeah, Coco just told us that, you know, the Cortex was tricking us into powering the station and all that, so, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'll see you next time when we finish the game. See you then.